Hey folks, this is Mr. Hartzler, and I'm talking about act part two of activity 3.1.4, and that's all about making a flashlight respond to light and a switch. We want it to respond to our light sensor and our limit switch right here. They have a little bit of setup for you that they've already provided if you're running through the Project Lead the Way packet. They provide the while, while, just the if here, and just the else. But what's important is you've done this chunk here before. In act part one, you have if the sensor value, I had to change it from 700 to 600. If the sensor value is greater than 600, turn the flashlight on. So if it's dark in the room, flashlight on. Else, so that means it's bright in the room, or my light sensor is greater than 600, turn the flashlight off. So you've done this chunk before. We're adding just a little tiny piece, and that is that they want it to also respond to the limit switch. So I have everything labeled here. We have an infinite loop. That's important. And we have the end of our infinite loop. Oh, sorry, down here. We have this loop that's going to be while limit switch is pressed. Limit switch is a sensor. So while the sensor value of what? Of the limit switch is equal to 1. We do double equals. So if the limit switch is pressed, that's if the limit switch equals 1. What happens? Well, now I read in this loop. Okay, from this squiggly bracket in row 20 to this squiggly bracket in row 29. And you'll notice I wrote there, I commented, that that's the end of the limit switch loop. That's where it, this is the first time I've done it in my videos, because now it actually gets kind of confusing. You really do need these comments to help you figure out what you're doing. So I have beginning and end right here of my limit switch loop. Within that, I have an if. So if, and then I've got my pr uh, little squiggly bracket saying what's happening in there. If it's uh, dark outside, sorry, if it's dark in the room, flashlight turns on, else, so it's dark outside, flashlight turns off. End of my else here, end of my limit switch loop. Okay, so now if my limit switch is not being pressed. That's what's happening right here, because that's end of limit switch loop. You can notice, too, these line up vertically, these squiggly brackets, right there, all the way down to there. So this one is being read when my limit switch is not being pressed. And if you'll look at the stuff over here, it's saying that that needs to turn flashlight off. So I need to turn flashlight off. And I need to call it flashlight. So if my limit switch is not being pressed, that means this statement's not true. And I skip all of this stuff right here. And I go straight down to turn flashlight off. That's important. I'm always in an infinite loop, so I'm always going through and checking, well, is my limit switch being pressed? If so, doing this stuff. If not, I skip right down to turn it off, and then I check to see if 1 equals 1. We should be good. All of this should be typed up. Let's see if we have any errors by compiling the program. Let's send it to the robot. Okay. That's there. Scoot this over. All right. So, now we have to try some stuff out. Well, we have to hit that start button. There we go. There's the start button. Now, nothing should happen when it's dark in the room. So, I'm covering up my light sensor. You can see the light over here not turning on. Let's hit the switch. Okay, that didn't turn it on. Good. Now, let's make it dark. Okay, it turned on. Off. When it's bright, on, off, on. Good. Now, I'm going to leave it on. I'm going to turn off the limit switch. Light turned off. Back on, off. Well, now it's. I'm going to leave it on. And I'm going to remove my finger, turn it off, press the button. Yep, we're good. Turns on and off right when I want it to. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, click that like button below. Subscribe to this channel if you want to see more videos like this. And if you have any questions or want to see more videos or anything, please leave that in a comment below. I do read them, and I do make more videos based on people's responses. So thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.